please give a massive round of applause for Kathy Sainscliffe and Patricia Cornwell. Hello, everybody. We've heard that your early life was difficult, to say the least. What effect, if any, do you think that's had on your writing? Well, I think that I'm not sure I'd be a writer if I hadn't started out that way because I learned at a very early age to use my imagination to create a world that was more pleasant than the one with, that I was in, but and more importantly, to create imaginary friends, characters. The, the gift of imagination is remarkable. It's what makes us so special and gives us unbelievable power to change what's going on around us, even if we can't escape from it. And I learned to be able to go somewhere without leaving the house. And that's why I can write books today. Forensics, if you just forget the word for a minute because it's been used so much, sometimes I wonder if people even know what it means. How many people here even know what forensics means? Do we have any hands? You. You look like a very smart person. Um, yes, yeah, the one looking around pretending I'm not calling on it. It's not gonna work, I see you. You know, I'd read somewhere rather recently that someone was saying that forensics have made crime fiction really difficult because there's so many ways to figure out who did it. And I totally disagree with this. Forensics has made it fantastic because I have so many tools to trick Scarpetta with. And that's my only ambition in life is to trick that woman. The world for Scarpetta is infinitely better and infinitely worse because it's better in that, I mean, when she was getting started and when I was starting with this character, there were very, very few female forensic pathologists or, for, or female forensic scientists. Um, now, as a lot of you probably know, and maybe many of you are in these fields, the, the, it's overrun by women. See what happens when you let us through the door? We take over the place. Science and technology do not solve crimes. People do. You take the tools, whether it's Scarpetta's scalpel or a special light source, or a scanning electron microscope, whatever it is that you want to use to analyze certain evidence, that is simply your bag of tricks. It's you who's figuring it out because sometimes when you analyze things in the lab, they, it, the analysis may be true, but it's not telling the true story. Where did the character of Lucy, this, this gifted, disturbed creature, where did she come from? I don't know. I don't know where any of these people came from. I really don't. People don't believe me when I say it. They're not based on anybody I know. They're not based on me. I mean, they've not become more like me, but I've become more like them because I've had to learn what they do so I can describe it for you. So I became a helicopter pilot because of Lucy. I started scuba diving because of Scarpetta. I have to do all the, you know, the, the medicine, the technology, the firearms, the weapons, all that I have to do if I'm gonna write a book that's believable for you. When, when you do all those things, it changes who you are because um, you're putting yourself through something that you wouldn't have ordinarily. What I am is a, a, a journalist who decided to write about something and it's always been my, my style to just go out and find the story and jump into it so that you feel it. If I'm flying you in a helicopter, I want you to feel you're flying that helicopter in the book. So I, I have to master those things because the details are what make you feel it's real. Yeah. I want to thank all of you. You've given me 25 wonderful years with this character. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing it. It's been wonderful to be with you. Thanks. <laughs>